Potato Tots, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can probably see by the title and the thumbnail, we have a life update video to do. I have not done a video like this in so long. I kind of hesitated on doing it, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but I decided to go ahead and do it. We are gonna be chit chatting a lot in this video, I am gonna be talking a lot, so no need for a super long intro y'all know the drill by now make sure you have me on my other social medias they'll be on the screen the intro in the description make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when i post a new video and let's get right into the video now as y'all can see i have my wine poured here i'm gonna drink it don't get me wrong but y'all gonna see me sip very lightly because one I'm not sure if I really want to have too much alcohol right now. And for two, I don't want to mess up my lip gloss. Also, I'm drinking the, I'm trying to move it. The light is all in the way. But yeah, I'm going to just show y'all the bottle because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's obviously in another language or something. So like, give me a break. But like I said, we're going to be doing some catching up. We're going to be chit-chat. Well, I'm going to be chit-chatting. You guys are going to be listening about everything that has been going on in my life recently. There's a few things I can say in this video. There's a few things I am going to say. Number one, I think I can definitely start off by saying that in a general sense and in every individual aspect of my life, I can honestly say that I am truly at peace. I have so much peace. I have an abundance of peace just all in and out of every aspect of my life right now and I am loving it I'm so grateful if you know you know a lot of you probably don't know but you know what you know that has not always been the case for me I'm not going to delve too deep into the past things but just know that me having this level of peace in my life and this amount is just it's truly a blessing and I, I'm so grateful for it. Like I said, it's just amazing. Like literally all glory to God. I am so happy to be at this point. And of course, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to having even more peace, gaining even more peace in all areas of my life. But where I'm at now, I, I'm definitely happy here. Now, aside from that, you guys have been asking me a lot and for a very long time, not a very long time, but at least maybe like maybe since like this time last year. I've been getting a lot of questions about am I still in school? Short answer, no, I am not still in school. There are so many reasons I have behind why I decided not to go back for another year. Some reasons I really don't wanna disclose, but in a nutshell, let's just say that I personally, at this time in my life, I don't feel the need to prioritize higher education for myself. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with people that are. I'm not saying that my way is the only way or anything like that. I'm just saying that for myself personally, that is not something that is high on my list of priorities at the moment. Whether or not I'll go back in the future, I highly doubt it if I'm being completely honest, but I may, I may not. It's not like I can't, you know, so like I said, at this moment, I don't feel the need to. I have like another route in mind for myself that I also don't really feel the need to disclose right now. But just know that I am no longer in school. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And to answer you all's question, short answer, no, I'm not still in school. And kind of piggybacking off of what I was saying about having a different route in mind and things like that, I have a lot of things lined up for my future i will say that some things i have started on right now other things not quite which is fine i mean i'm you know so young still and not saying it in a way like oh i have time but you know like i'm i'm pacing myself i'm being realistic with myself and my goals and everything else and i'm just not in a rush to conquer my entire life or complete all of my life goals in the first 20 something years that's not that's not the way I'm trying to do it. But like I said, there's a lot of things for the future. But as of now, another thing that I have been working on a lot, a lot, is um, luxury tights closet. Now, if you know, you know, 
for those of you that don't know or are not aware I did start up my online site you guys ask me all the time like what do I do with all of my clothes and things that I'm no longer wearing and all types of things like that and some of you may know I did have like other channels of how I sold my clothing like maybe in the last year or two or whatever I now have created an entire website that is much more effective much more functional a lot more organized and I absolutely love it this way I will have it linked down below of course if you guys want to check it out I highly recommend you to and I would love for you guys to check me out on there so that you guys are able to get your hands on a lot of my pre-loved items and things that you guys see me wear that I'm not going to wear or you know just whatever I decide to post on there so if you guys have been wondering if that was up and running or where I was selling my clothes at now or anything like that because that's another big question that I get all the time luxurytotscloset.com that is where I am selling everything and like I said I would definitely have the link down below I'm definitely becoming more consistent with that as well like I said y'all I'm only one person and I think that's what kind of I'm not gonna say threw me off but kind of like you know knocked me slightly about that much off of my square that I'm usually on is just having all of these things to do and it's just me again not complaining and not saying that I'm not capable because I am there's only so much I really can do trying to make videos and edit videos then make thumbnails then make description boxes then make sure every item is linked and then upload close take the pictures before I upload them make sure that you guys um you know are able to access the site effectively packaging orders shipping out orders making reels making take god forbid i just want to take five minutes to take a shower on top of that you know having my personal life and all of this stuff it's a lot i'm definitely grateful for it i asked for a lot so i'm not complaining at all again all glory to god but i'm just saying it's a lot so i kind of have to remind myself to like bear with myself so to speak because i am only one person and I'm doing a lot as it is. I can go on and on, but just know that I am being a lot more consistent on my site and uploading new items every week so that you guys always have new pieces to select from. Like I said, for the 10th time, I'll have the link in the description box so you guys can check that out. Now that's about all this new work related. As far as within my personal life, whew, there's really a lot to update y'all on. I'm not gonna lie because the last life update we did, was maybe like a year ago and obviously so much has happened in the last year so much has happened in the first part of this year alone 2022 it's amazing but anyways I definitely feel like I'm going through a season of not only improving myself but in the process of that outgrowing a lot of other people and a lot of previous habits that I've had overall I just feel like I'm in a season of elevation so to say and while that sounds good I don't know if anybody else is like this but for me personally it has kind of been like a little bit of a rocky road for myself as far as how I feel about it because there's days where I'm just so proud of how far I've come and how much I see myself growing and elevating constantly in so many different areas but then it's like this small part of me that it's like yeah, I have all this going on, but it's like I don't associate with people that I used to associate it with anymore. Well, that's because I don't want to say I'm here and they're there. Like, I definitely don't want to say that because like, whoa, but <laughs> but it's it's that's somewhat what it is when you outgrow people because you're elevating and you're growing and you have made a lot of improvement and those people that you used to associate with don't have that same thing going on so while you're constantly going higher and higher and higher that person is still where they were when you left them if that makes sense at least that's the case for me I don't know if anybody else is like that or if anybody else has experienced something like that but it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling don't get me wrong I would definitely still take the elevation over the stagnant phase any given day even with the little bittersweet moments that come with it but I mean it's I just want to throw that out there because it's not like all peaches and cream as, as much as it may sound that way. And like I said, the growth and the improvement has come in just about just about every area of my life. Financially, I'm growing. Spiritually, I have grown so much. Oh my goodness, my relationship with God, it definitely could use some improvement, but it's a process. Kind of like what I was saying earlier about my career and not 
feeling like I have to conquer it all or establish it all in the first few years. That's how my relationship with God is. Like I love constantly growing and being able to look back and see like, oh, this is where I used to be with my relationship with him, but now it's further or it's improved somehow, some way. It's a process obviously, but what I can say is within, I'ma just say this past, I mean, it keeps growing, so it's hard to even pinpoint, you know, a time, but uh, it's, it's definitely at its strongest that it's been, I will say that. It could definitely be stronger, and I'm aiming for it to be stronger, of course, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with where that is, and like I said, it's, it's a process, so I'm definitely looking forward to having even more growth in that area. Financially, spiritually, even just within myself, I guess you would say, personally I don't know but just like as far as who I am as an individual I look at myself now when certain situations arise and I see how I react to them and the way I move about it and when I compare that to my past self or how my past self maybe would have handled it or went about it it's completely different and in a good way I'm just like wow the growth <laughs> Physically, even in the way I look, at least in my opinion, I feel like physically I've 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 glowed up, so to say. Simply put, that's that's what's happening. And I still am little by little every day. Like, come on now, you guys see me. But yeah, it's 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 definitely a good thing. I look at pictures of myself from three years ago, four years ago, some even like two years ago, back in 2020, and I'm like, girl what is this <laughs> what is this type? what is going on i know what was going on that's why i'd be you know not too hard on myself i'd be knowing what was happening around that time but i look back and i'm like wow i have come so far like uh, i'm so grateful but like i said i can go on and on i have just been growing and constantly elevating in every aspect of my life and i'm just so excited to see what god has for me next and what the future holds <sighs> Now, aside from all of that, some of you may know if you have me on Instagram or TikTok or my other social medias, which by the way, if you don't, definitely make sure you get me on all of those. I'll have them back on the screen and in the description. But if you guys have me already on at least one of those sites, you will probably know by now that I did have a breast reduction. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to flash y'all, but yeah sneak peek um as y'all can see i still am rocking my surgical bra but yeah i did have a breast reduction surgery i am so happy with my decision oh my goodness little by little i am seeing more and more i'm not gonna say more and more results every day but obviously i'm still in the healing process so as time has been going on i have been seeing different things change and i'm so happy with the results and I haven't been dissatisfied with anything regarding my surgery yet knock on wood but yeah I'm pretty sure everything is going to work out exactly the way that I envisioned it I'm very grateful that I'm having a smooth recovery and that everything is going as planned and some things a lot of things even better than I expected so um yes I'm definitely happy about that I'm definitely happy with my decision overall like I said if you know, you know, this is something that I have been trying to get done since, I don't even know how long, since maybe I was about 13. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I've dealt with for a majority of my adolescent years, just having these crazy, big, disproportionate tatas on my chest, 5'1", 140 pounds and like triple D's like insane so I'm definitely glad that I finally got this handled <laughs> and yeah as soon as I finish up my recovery fully oh my goodness prepare to be sick of me prepare to be sick of me because oh my goodness the stuff y'all about to see me wearing these hauls and the stuff y'all about to see me post on Instagram and the stuff y'all about to see me outside in oh my goodness y'all better be glad it's finna get cold Y'all better be glad because y'all got a little bit of time before I start acting up again because it's starting to, you know, get a little chilly outside. Fall season coming up, winter season is going to follow. So y'all got a little bit of time before y'all really see me show my butt. Just, I'm happy. I'm 
happy I got this done. Oh, baby, that one is good. But um, yes, I'm super excited about that. I will have more videos to follow regarding my surgery and my experience and everything. I will have, of course, some videos trying on different clothes now, clothes that I couldn't wear before. I actually took a lot of before clips of clothes that I already owned that just didn't look right because of my breasts. So I took some before clips. I'm definitely gonna record some afters after I heal a little bit more. And I'm gonna do a lot of like before and after videos. Like I said, I'm gonna talk more in a separate video, a lengthier video about my experience, answering some of you guys' questions. Make sure to say on the lookout if you have any questions because I am gonna post it both on here and on Instagram and give you guys like a, you know, a little space to where you can ask anything you want me to answer specifically about that. That'll probably be coming within the next few weeks to a month. So like I said, be on the lookout for that. And just another side note, if you have been contemplating or considering getting a breast reduction, I'ma just tell you, do it. I don't need to hear none of your side of the story. Just if you have even the slightest consideration of it, do it. I'm telling everybody, when I tell y'all I am like the breast reduction spokesperson now, I'm telling everybody to do it. I don't care what no, do it. And I guess at this point in the video, we can address the elephant in the room. Um, As you guys can see, I mean, what's understood don't really need to be explained. And that's all I really feel the need to say. Honestly, like I don't feel the need to elaborate anymore on it, but I am in a relationship, so, I decided why not just throw that in there. It's not like you guys don't know. I mean, like, come on now. But yeah, that's that's another good thing going on in my life right now. I'm happy there. Like I said, these past few months and everything leading up until getting into a new relationship, a lot of things have just been panning out for me very well. I've been growing and elevating in a lot of different areas, like I've been saying. And then that coming along was just like, you know, and I don't want to say the cherry on top because we far from done. But you know, it was it was just like a almost like an unexpected type of an unexpected blessing, I guess we can call it. I'm definitely grateful that all of that happened the way it did. I definitely wasn't I didn't really see it coming. So I think that's why I kind of see it that way. But like I said, I don't really need to say too much more about that. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my life update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, whatever, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Also, make sure to let me know what types of content you guys want to see, whether on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, anything like that. If you guys have any particular suggestions, please feel free to comment down below or let me know. DM me or say, you know, just, just let me know somehow, some way, because I'm definitely open to new suggestions. Once again, make sure you add me on all my other social medias. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.